Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 7 of season 2 of Fire Force. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Cute, I love him so much. No. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> you guys are so weird. <laughs> He's so cute though. Oh. Could have been an animal. Seriously, bandits? Oh, Well, hold up. What am I going to do in the back behind this right now? Who the fuck is that? Okay. Mm 
I feel like we're in the Grand Canyon right now. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Well, at least the kids are having fun, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. Party poker. What the hell is that? <laughs> I don't think so. I think it came from that. Oh my god, he's so cute! He got it! I'm guessing he's the one who. Mm -hmm.
on um and they don't so merch of him. Mm. <laughs> Make merchandise or something. Wait, let him talk first. <laughs> oh, okay. That sounds a little fake, though, but... He's so fucking cute. I want him. The birds by dog. I, I shouldn't really be surprised about that is. <laughs> Violet potatoes, really. Mm. God, that just feels like the end of the world over there. Oh my child. Mm. Make some s'mores. Mm. Really? So I'm guessing I should learn how. The hell? But why me? Seriously?
I want them so bad. Yeah, but imagine driving that far just to check on some damn potatoes, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm God, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you guys might as well go check it though, right? Freaking beautiful, oh my god.
Damn, they're going to kill the dogs. Oh, traitor! Oh! <laughs> yeah, I went. Mm -hmm. I never know they're good things, but I was assuming that they were humans as well. Oh. Is their boss like Cerberus or some ish? You gonna end, aren't you? You mother effer. Come on, man. This <laughs> went by too fast. Oh my god. See, y'all be taking notes from Sora online. Like, mm, okay, let's just get through this as quickly as possible. And then click anger. I mean, oh. But this is a really good episode. I'm really, really happy with um what they're doing with Oak. Uh, I can't even say his name correctly. Oh, oh god. I mean, honestly, if this is the same person who fucking made Soul Eater, and I've seen Soul Eater, like, way too fucking much. Um, I've always been a little skeptical on, like, when usually most black people come into a show, because I'm like, hmm, how long are they going to survive in this show until they either be, like, um, placed in the back, or they die. And usually sometimes they die within, like, the first three to four episodes after they've been, you know, introduced to the show. But, yeah, I love what they're doing with them. They're giving more character development so on. And it's just, that's why I love anime so much. But, Scoop, oh, my God, he's so cute. Oh, my God. I want him. If they don't sell merchandise of him, I will be so freaking pissed. I mean, come on now. He's so adorable. He's the cutest thing in this show. That is merchandise right there. He could be the mascot of this whole freaking show. I mean, come on now. Take a note from any freaking Magical Girl S show or some show that has like a cute little mascot and they put it in there. Hell, for Christ's sake, Pokemon with Pikachu because Pikachu is like the biggest fucking mascot ever. I mean, come on. Hmm. Well, she could also possibly be one of the pillars as well. But see, okay, I'm going to say this. I wasn't thinking that they were going to get through to this thing, like, in one episode. I was expecting it to be at least two episodes, and then, like, nine and ten would have been, like, what we were seeing currently for the preview for episode eight. But, oh, because as someone who hasn't really read this manga, and I'm not going to, I mean, it's interesting to know certain things, and then just to kind of guess and then you figure it out or you have a little hunch and then you find out you're right about something and you're just like, what the fuck? Like, oh. But, mm, I mean, it's going to get a little more character development. We're going to see backstory on him. But I think almost everybody was assuming that, you know, the bandits here were actually humans. I'm thinking, yeah, okay, in this oasis, maybe humans have possibly survived and they're able to thrive and live there. But then you're seeing a pack of hellhounds and you're like hold up where the fuck are the people but i think once they were starting to show all the man-made stuff i think that's when i was like okay no it's kind of not really possible maybe humans are not really surviving here so if it ain't humans it's possibly animals and bam right there but mm, i got so many questions on this woman and why she's here and she has to be like the voice of the forest because she is the only one who is talking through shane through the um 
Adele Lincoln saying protect the forest. So I hope she gets a lot more character development and anything that I'm wondering about her gets answered. She could be one of the other um, links that we're looking for as with Inca. Because, I mean, since everybody is hating on Inca, I think I'm probably the only person. <laughs> if I'm like, maybe, I don't know, but maybe like there's a couple of us who probably don't hate Inca. Because I actually like the crap out of Inca. Yeah, I'm still a little pissed. Still pissed about what the hell she did last week about killing Panda because Panda was literally like best boy. I mean, I was expecting Panda to survive no matter what. But then, I mean, she was just like, fuck it. No, I'm just going to kill Panda. That was still a messed up move. And so I looked at something, uh, the comments on um, the reaction matchup that I'm in. And somebody said, oh, all the people who hate Inca now, y'all going to hate her in a couple episodes. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, wow, what the hell is she going to do? So I don't know. I mean, but like, I love Inca. I don't think I'm going to hate her. But uh, you know what? Given about like a couple hours, <laughs> episodes later, I'm probably going to be eating my words. But I just, I like her so much. She's very interesting, even though she's not really now the primary focus of this arc we're going into right now. But she's still like that secondary focus. But yeah. All I really had to say, and I cannot wait to see Scoop next week. But, like, as I said, merchandise right there at the end of the day. But, other than that, guys, that is my reaction to be towards episode seven of season two of Fire Force. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel, I make videos every single day from the Magic Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all <clears throat> next Friday for episode eight. Bye, guys.